Hey everybody, what's up? It's Kiki and welcome back for another hair review. Today we are taking this wig from this to this. This is the most natural looking wig that I've had and it reminds me so much of my natural hair. So if you guys want to see how I style this wig from her given hair, keep watching. So this is how their wig comes packaged like a little gift and it comes with some goodies in it. This is the wig that I have and it is a closure wig and the wig does come pre-bleached. The wig comes tightly coiled but I did want to go in and shampoo and condition it so that I can get it to look a little bit more natural. Once I wash this wig, oh my god this thing reminds me so much of my hair. Just a lot fuller. So I had to work. After I washed it I thought I was just going to wear it like that. No ma'am. This is hair that you have to style just like your natural hair. You cannot just wear this hair out the shower or right after you wash it no you have to style it whether you're going to do a wash and go i decided to do a twist out but look at these curls after they're defined just gorgeous look at this texture and tell me this does not remind you of african-american hair I think they said this is 3B, 3C. This is more of 4A, 4B hair because this is exactly what my hair looks like. Now when I put this wig on, I was like, mm. The wig does have combs and adjustable straps so that you can make sure that the wig is secure and has a great fit. This lace color matches my skin so well, so if I wanted to get a full lace wig from them or something like that, I'm sure it would match me perfectly. So I'm just going to take a little bit of oil on my hand like I would do when I'm taking down my own twist outs on my natural hair. And just break the cast a little bit and then untwist them and break them apart. Just look at the curls, look at that texture, look at that definition. It is so reminiscent of my natural hair. It's scary. I've taken down the other half of my hair and just fluffing it out and picking the curls apart without making it too frizzy or disrupting too much of the curl pattern. So I'm just going to shake it out a little bit just to loosen up some of those curls. And then I'm going to take a pick and fluff it just as if it was my natural hair. Let me know in the comments if you would wear this hair and how you would have styled this hair. Now the bangs were cut a little too short for me. So I did wind up switching it to a side part which worked out really really well because I love me a good side part. I'm going to make sure that I secure the sides with the comb and then I'm going to tuck the lace since I am wearing it pushed back just a little bit. And I'm just going to lay my edges down and pretty much that is it. This wig is done. It's super full, super fluffy, super cute. And if you guys follow my vlogs, you guys know I love my auntie wig, my bonnet wig. So this will be my new replacement because it gives me life. It's natural. It looks like my natural hair. And I could just throw it on and run out the door after it's been styled, of course. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Come and share all the good stuff. I will have all the specs and direct links to this wig in the description box. Make sure you guys go check out her giving hair. I love you guys and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Bye.